Hey, fellas, how you doing? It's a little bit later in the day. Um, I wanted to tell you, a, nah, I don't have to wear that. I want to tell you a little bit of, sto of a story about the uh, Mexico City uh, National Museum of Anthropology. My wife and I went through that uh, museum. That's where they had the Olmec heads and all the different Mayans and Aztecs and all the other cultures. It's, it's shocking to see how many pyramids are there, but... Uh, I will tell you this. I forgot about this and I've and, uh, been sitting around here uh, just feeling a little sickly, uh, intestinal problems. And that's just m m the bugs here are trying to kick the other bugs out of my system. But other than that, uh, so I leave my phone. I forgot that I left my phone over at one of the displays. It's over in the Mayan section. I just set it down and forgot it. And... Um, we go back there uh, to, to get it back and the security personnel come in and they let us in and they had put it in a lost and found box. And it's quite a ways to walk back to where the lost and found is. Uh, I don't know if you remember the picture of the fountain, but it's actually on the opposite side of that fountain, but all the way in the back corner. So, And my wife's talking to the little female guard and the guy guard, and I'm just... Uh, not really paying attention, talking to him. And uh, I start hearing the word phantasma and phantasmas. And, uh, and I stop and I'm like, and that's like, what were you guys doing? What was that? What did you say? What's going on? And they, uh, the two guards said they don't like being there at night. They hate the night shift because so many strange things happen at that museum. Um, Doors that are locked will become unlocked. Doors will open that are supposed to be locked. It sets off the alarms. Uh, they have a closed circuit TV and they said they'll see things move or see shadows where there's there's nobody else in there. And, uh, bathroom door. I mean, they're just going on and on and on. It was like uh, uh, once the it, 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 older shorter lady started talking she just couldn't help herself she was just blah, 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 blah. but I, I just uh i'd forgotten about that story but uh you would think i mean like some of those uh artifacts in there are 30 plus thousand years old and uh, we're only supposed to go back ten thousand years so uh like i can't remember if it was Wurtz or one of the other guys but i started uh looking up a little bit earlier today, some of the Graham Hancock, Graham Hancock episodes um, here on YouTube, as well as Randall Carlson. And if you really think about it, it, it makes sense that, uh, what do they call that? Uh, Carlson calls them like the meteor impact sites where they just reset our uh, society. And I think that might be, I don't know if you guys remember the DART program where we sent a rocket into outer space that had another rocket on board of it, which has an, had an explosive charge on it. And we landed that uh, or ran that uh, explosive charge into a meteor and it actually changed its course. So, uh, Maybe the scientist and all the rest of those guys at NASA know a little bit more <laughs> than they're willing to admit. I just thought that was funny. And I, I'm, I'm a very uh, I'm skeptical. And if there is objective proof, then I don't have a problem with that at all. But if you're telling me that to take a leap of faith, I'm not very faithful about that religiously now i have a lot of faith but um i would prefer objective proof so anyways all that to say this it was just i was just i was very surprised and she just kept saying oh no yo tengo miedo de este lugar en la noche uh, I, I just I, I get i'm afraid to be here at night and they were they were just talking about all kinds of weird shit that were going on so Nothing happened while we were there, but we were only there for about 15 minutes to get our stuff and leave. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Anyways, it's, you guys uh, stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. Like a fart in a G-string. Finally, from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here.